Great morning, Learn Crypto TV family. So how you doing today? Hopefully everything is doing well. So we back again here. And uh, you know, you just got an opportunity on the last episode to see how MetaMask and Trust Wallet work, you know, against each other or com in comparison to each other, you know, and what it will be the best suited situation for you. And this is, again, for any person that's getting into the crypto game for the first time and want to be able to custody their own crypto you know meaning you own your own crypto not your keys not your crypto remember that so today you're going to hear on this episode a breakdown of the metamask wallet in its totality to give you a full scale idea on how security works how you should store your private keys how you should um you know take uh you know precautions when you know moving nfts you know etc you know so you're gonna hear a whole gamut so you might want to grab something a pen and paper write down take some notes or save this video so you can go back and reference it when it comes to using the metamask wallet so go ahead get yourself situated you know and after this uh next message then we'll start with our explanation and afterwards we'll talk a little bit about it and end the video from there so thank you for tuning in remember to like subscribe and share the content if you haven't done so already and get ready to learn something crypto king is not a financial advisor you gonna learn today you gonna learn today you gonna learn today had to get it off why not be the boss started in tampa bay Life in the matrix will crumble you, crumble you. Poverty struggle will humble you, humble you. Florida State, relocate, pack my bags and I move to Columbia. Whole lot more headers, but need to. Need they to. say that it's cheaper to keep, but he's. That's why I learn more than two. Crypto, I'm learning you. Learn crypto TV is turning to. MetaMask has been a household name in the crypto sphere since its inception in 2017. You'll quickly identify it with the distinctive Fox logo that follows your cursor on the screen. But before we can go ahead and learn how to set up MetaMask and the other finer details, I guess it's crucial that we meet the wallet itself. But then, what's a digital wallet? Your crypto wallet is a personal key that enables you to interact with the cryptographic world. Without one, you'll not be able to buy, sell, or transfer digital assets like NFTs or cryptocurrencies on the blockchain, just like how you need a wallet filled with cash to buy stuff in the physical world. So, in a nutshell, MetaMask is a crypto wallet designed for the most diverse blockchain that's ever existed, the Ethereum blockchain, among others. MetaMask is a gateway to everything Ethereum, whether NFTs, the DeFi ecosystem, and ERC-20 tokens. Just one more thing, MetaMask is a free, open source, hot wallet that will get you rolling with Ethereum. It's available as an app for Android and iOS, but in addition to that, it can be used as an extension with some web browsers, specifically Google Chrome, Firefox, Brave, and Edge. What are some specific uses for the MetaMask wallet? While one of the main uses of a MetaMask wallet is buying ETH, you can also use it to receive, accept, send, and swap Ethereum and NFTs. Once you've set up your MetaMask wallet, you can easily use the dashboard to buy ETH via different payment options like credit cards, bank transfers, etc. MetaMask allows you to connect to thousands of decentralized applications and Web3 services. Now that we've taken the first glance, it's time to get started. Your first task is to create a MetaMask wallet. And to do that, you must first install the extension to your browser. A word of caution before we proceed, the internet is full of scam apps pretending if you ever considered beginning the NFT or cryptocurrency journey, whether you want to buy or trade NFTs, Ethereum, or any other ERC-20 tokens, you must have heard about MetaMask. In this video, we'll tell you everything about MetaMask, what it is, what digital assets you can store in it, and how to set it up. And remember, if you like to stay updated to all things crypto, click on that subscribe button and turn on the notifications. 
MetaMask has been a household name in the crypto sphere since its inception in 2017. You'll quickly identify it with the distinctive Fox logo that follows your cursor on the screen. But before we can go ahead and learn how to set up MetaMask and the other finer details, I guess it's crucial that we meet the wallet itself. But then, what's a digital wallet? Your crypto wallet is a personal key that enables you to interact with the cryptographic world. Without one, you'll not be able to buy, sell, or transfer digital assets like NFTs or cryptocurrencies on the blockchain, just like how you need a wallet filled with cash to buy stuff in the physical world. So, in a nutshell, MetaMask is a crypto wallet designed for the most diverse blockchain that's ever existed, the Ethereum blockchain, among others. MetaMask is a gateway to everything Ethereum, whether NFTs, the DeFi ecosystem, and ERC-20 tokens. Just one more thing, MetaMask is a free, open source, hot wallet that will get you rolling with Ethereum. It's available as an app for Android and iOS, but in addition to that, it can be used as an extension with some web browsers, specifically Google Chrome, Firefox, Brave, and Edge. What are some specific uses for the MetaMask wallet? While one of the main uses of a MetaMask wallet is buying if, you can also use it to receive, accept, send, and swap Ethereum and NFTs. Once you've set up your MetaMask wallet, you can easily use the dashboard to buy if via different payment options like credit cards, bank transfers, etc. MetaMask allows you to connect to thousands of decentralized applications and Web3 services. Now that we've taken the first glance, it's time to get started. Your first task is to create a MetaMask wallet. And to do that, you must first install the extension to your browser. A word of caution before we proceed, the internet is full of scam apps pretending to be the legitimate MetaMask. In this video, we highly recommend that you visit the MetaMask website. It's the only way you can avoid potential fake versions. The installation process. For this demonstration, we'll set up our wallet via Chrome. However, take note that you can replicate these steps across all browsers. Our first step is to go to the Chrome Web Store, add MetaMask to Chrome. Click on that blue button, add to Chrome. Next, click on add extension. Creating your account. To start things, you'll need to come up with a password or let the random generator create one for you. Most importantly, you'll be shown a 12-word seed phase. These are the words that enable you to restore your wallet anytime you forget your password or use a different gadget. Be very careful where you keep your 12-word seed phase because anyone who gets access to it can quickly access your wallet and all its contents. Remember, not your seed phase, not your wallet. A good practice would be to make multiple copies offline. Some people even have them carved on a fireproof metallic plate. It's time to go to MetaMask and create an account. At the top right hand corner, locate and click on the extension icon. The icon should be in a similar location on all other browsers. As soon as MetaMask opens, it will prompt you to either create a wallet or import a wallet. If you're not a newbie and already created your wallet earlier, you can select import wallet. Remember the 12 word seed phase I just mentioned? The system will now ask that you input it to confirm that you are authorized to enter the wallet. However, if you're new to MetaMask, you'll need to choose create a wallet. First, you'll be asked to accept the wallet's terms of use. And after that, you'll be prompted to create a password. Click create. Take note of this. We already know about the importance of the 12-word seed phase. Once MetaMask reveals the words, don't forget to write them down. Now proceed and click the Reveal Secret Words button. The system will reveal your unique 12-word seed phase. Once again, for clarity's sake, we recommend that you write these words somewhere safe that you won't forget or misplace. Storing them online is not a good idea because of the potential cybersecurity risks. Click on Next. You'll be prompted to verify your secret seed phase in the correct order. Just remember that if you lose this phase, there's no way you or anyone else can recover it. If you'd like to download MetaMask on mobile instead, simply visit Google Play Store or the App Store and download MetaMask. The setup process will be similar to the desktop version. Now that you are in, 
What's next? You can use your new MetaMask wallet to receive and send IF tokens or even house your NFTs. If you're entirely new, you could also use your wallet to do some practice with several test networks that run on copies of the Ethereum blockchain using fake testnet IF. So, how do you identify your wallet address? There's a button just next to the code that you can use to copy on your clipboard and share with anyone who wants to send you tokens. Similarly, you can also transfer tokens from centralized exchanges like Coinbase or Binance to your wallet. Just make sure that you have the right network selected for this. Sadly, you can't accept Bitcoin through your MetaMask wallet. This Ethereum wallet only accepts Ethereum and ERC-20 tokens. However, if you have Bitcoin and you want to use it, you'll first have to convert it to ETH on exchanges such as Shapeshift.io. Is there anything you can do to protect your digital assets? Thankfully, you can follow a few simple steps to ensure your MetaMask wallet remains as secure as possible. MetaMask, like all other crypto wallets, has public and private keys. Endeavor to keep your private keys top secret since any stranger who gets a hold of this can access your funds. The easiest way that MetaMask wallets get compromised is through phishing attacks instead of direct cyber attacks. If that's the case, you can keep your digital assets secure by following these simple steps. One, use a password that's secure and difficult to guess. Two, avoid the temptation to type your seed phase anywhere else but your real MetaMask. Three, avoid exporting your private keys while sharing your screen with anyone. Four, never connect with suspicious websites. And that's it for our quick tutorial on MetaMask. If you're still worried about the potential security risks of hot wallets, you can consider using a cold wallet like Trezor or Ledger. Would you like to get more insights on MetaMask and other crypto wallets? Now that you've heard the explanation of the MetaMask wallet and you see, you know, what the intricacies it takes in order to be able to maintain that wallet, you know what I mean, or store or swap, you know, or do whatever it is that you need to do within that wallet you see you need to pay attention so like i said if you needed to write it down the information you know preliminary write it down if not just save this video to your favorites and then from there you'll be able to always refer back to this just in case you miss something i don't understand because one important thing that you have to understand is is that you know when you're swapping or you're pasting that uh that public wallet address you know to be able to move crypto from one exchange to your wallet you need to make sure that that wallet address is matching to the t because if you miss one letter out of that long address then it's going to be a problem you're not going to be able to get the crypto that you're trying to send and it's going to be somewhere out there in cyberspace you know or in crypto space you know there's a lot of people who lost money doing that including me i was one of them that's how come i know and that's why i'm taking the time to try to explain this and tell you and let you know how serious it is because i know a lot of you beginners are going to get in here and you're going to want to store or uh, figure out that you know i need to be able to keep my crypto and hold it because if you let coinbase hold it or if you let crypto.com hold it or if you let gemini hold it or you, any other centralized exchange hold your crypto it does not necessarily or excuse me technically it does not belong to you not your keys not your crypto so you know but just so you can see you know i'm not really i i do more than just talking you know, on a lot of the information that i put um on the internet or excuse me on youtube well standing that um you know people sometimes may think it well are you just talking you don't know you know you don't do it yourself how you do it so you know i'm just gonna show you you know and i'm gonna show you what's in my meta i don't hold any crypto in my metamask wallet um because oh yeah let me tell you one thing you know it, because a lot of these wallets you can have as apps on your cell phone say for instance one day you lose your phone or someone steals your phone if they understand crypto and how it works and they're able to get to that wallet they're going to siphon you okay that's one way that i lost money you know you could check out one of my previous episodes you know um robbed in columbia it was uh last year you know when i was in bogota you know what i mean when the video came out and i talked about it but this happened actually in march of 2022 when that happened to me so when my phone was stolen, you know, and then um, two of my wallets, you know, and one of them was MetaMask was uh, taken, um, you know, was taken advantage of at that point. So that's why I'm telling you, you know what I mean? So if you put it on your phone, you know what I'm saying? You better be full well proof that, you know, 
if you put it on your phone then you're subject to those situations so you move best as you know how everything that i'm introducing to you you can also put on a as an application onto your uh, desktop or laptop computer as well okay but it's a cold storage wallet it's free and you know and uh they are very very useful as you can see via the video explanation but anyhow i'm gonna show you mine i don't hold anything but uh nfts in in mine hold on i gotta switch my hand because my my right thumb is is the uh see you see i use biometrics but um anyhow i don't use any i don't have any crypto stored in here you know i did you know and you can see some of the cryptos that i had in here i still have my bond because that's um uh, mining on the website so they don't have access to that but anyhow uh you know and then i'll just change the wallet address and send it somewhere else when i get ready to, when i'm done mining but anyway um anyhow so just to show you here you know all of the stuff that it was explaining you know it's on the ethereum network it talked about the different networks because you want to make sure that you have you know uh the right network when you're moving and sending money and stuff like that but anyhow you know just showing you real quick you know this is where my nfts are and you know i have an nft store print on open c as you can see you know I am the bros, you know, and all of these are, are uh, not, uh, they don't have to be, they wasn't authorized. They're not, they doesn't have to be authorized by the fraternity for those whom who looking and saying, oh, it ain't authorized. You shouldn't have that. None of these uh, pictures are um, under that umbrella. But anyway, and then um, I have some, like I told y'all on one of my other episodes, I, I own 27 domains and you can see four of them right there. You know, and then I have this domain under Ethereum name service. All of these are my NFTs and domain names. You know, these are just some of my NFTs. This is just what I hold here. But anyway, you can see when my partner calling me, he gonna have to wait. And <laughs> when he watch this episode, he gonna see when he is calling me because I just went by his house to tell him some news. But anyway, um, that's what you see right there. You know, as far as the um, MetaMask wallet. So, but anyhow. I'm going to go ahead and end the episode because I know y'all on information overload. I got work to get back to do. And um, I'm going to uh, answer this phone for my homeboy because, you know what I'm saying, he's going to call me back. But anyway, uh, I'm going to holler at y'all on the next episode when we're talking about Trust Wallet for part three. Okay, that's going to be part three of this three-part series about these wallets, Trust versus MetaMask, which one is better for you. So we'll check y'all out on the next episode. Thanks for hanging out with me. Oh, yeah, remember, like, subscribe, share the content. All right. And uh, also, you know, I got an ebook. Email me, CryptoKingCarlos at gmail.com if you want it. It's free. Okay. If you want to donate, my cash tag is in the book. Yo, if not, it's still free. But anyway, I'll check y'all out on the next episode. Ciao.